Hello and welcome to this next video in the Tableau for Sports series and this time we're going to look at creating a pass map so how would you track about where the ball was kicked from and to and again thanks to Statsbomb for allowing us to use their data here uh, you can go onto their website and check out they, they make a lot of data free so um, I do link to the file that I use here in my very first video so if you need to get that you can go back and if you've been following along it'll be a continuation of the same file okay so let's just jump in and have a look at what we're going to actually create. So by the end of this video, what I want to be able to do is have a look at, as I said, where the pass was from and where it went to. So in this example, I'm looking at, I filter down to Virgil van Dijk's passes to Origi, Salah and Mane in the Champions League final. But you could pick all of van Dijk's passes. And again, they would fill up on the screen so you're able to see. Okay, so a, a from and a to section here. Let me scale that off the screen. Okay, so I'm going to open up a, the kind of workbook that I've been working on throughout the series. Now, what I'll say is I'm going to start from scratch with this video source, and, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, I do have another video I did a year or so ago around doing this exact thing in Tableau Prep. So if you have access to Tableau Prep, that's probably the place I would do this. But if you don't have access to Prep, which is, I'm making these videos so you could use them with the, the free Tableau Public version, I do want to show you how to create these pass maps without using Tableau Prep. But be warned, that's probably where I would do it uh, on an ongoing basis. Okay. So although I already have the data loaded in here, I'm actually going to load a clean a version of the data and that's fine you can load multiple you see I have multiple different uh, data sets within this one workbook and because I'm going to use this purely for the passing uh, dashboard or the passing uh, visualization uh, I'm going to create just a, a blank version of the data so I'm going to come up here click on Excel I'm going to reconnect to my Champions League final Right, and in my Excel sheet, again available from the very first video if you want to download it, is I'm going to drag in this 2019 final. Now, something I'm going to do here is I actually want two copies of this data. Okay, so I'm going to show you in an Excel in a minute what I'm actually trying to achieve so you have a clear understanding. But just be aware, I'm going to drag this 2019 final in again, and I'm going to drag it up till I see this union box, and then I'm going to drop the data back in there as a union okay now do be conscious now i've duplicated the data and so that's why i would really just use this data source for my passing okay so i'm going to call it champions league final 2019 passing so we don't get it mixed up because obviously if we count events or different things we're going to get duplicate records of that and that's not really what we want here Okay, so let me just bounce over to Excel just for a second, just till I show you what we're trying to achieve. So if we were to go and look at the data, now I've taken out some of the columns in, uh, in Excel here just to make this easy to understand. But uh, essentially what we've got is, and I'm just looking at one pass here, but you can imagine this is now duplicated for every pass in the data set. We've got one set of data here, and we actually have an exact replica of it here. Okay, so we have two copies of the same data. And the reason is just in terms of we need to do this in order to create the pass maps. And really all I want to do is just take, you see the pass end location here on the second, the duplicate basically record here is I want to take those two and put them there. So this is really what I'm trying to achieve. I'm trying to get the start location, which is the first set of data in the same columns as the end data here. Okay. So that's really what I'm trying to achieve here. As I said, probably much more robust if you do it in Tableau Prep, but certainly possible here. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to achieve. That's just to give you a picture. I don't want to do that in Excel. That would drive you insane having to do that for 2,000 passes. So let's not do that. Let's find a way to, to automate this. So we've brought our two sets of data in here, uh, and now we can go and start to build off this. Okay, so again, just be conscious I'm on the passing data here. And a couple, because this is a clean set of data, we're going to have to do a couple of things we've already done. So the first is I'm going to search for a location. So my location zero, my location one, 
Tableau is telling me these are text fields by the ABC. I know they're not. They should be uh, decimal numbers. And the same here should be a decimal number. And they all should, should be a measure. So convert to measure, right click and convert to measure. Now this is important. I'll probably do a video at some stage just trying to explain the difference between dimensions and measures. But if you find yourself clicking around and things go blue and things go green and you've no idea, it's to do with these dimensions and measures, continuous and, and that kind of discrete variables. So I will come back and, and do a video at some stage. But for now, you can just follow along. And I'm going to do exactly the same with the end locations here. So I'm going to say number decimal, number decimal, and right click and convert to measure. Okay, so all I've done there is really just converted these to numbers uh, so far. The next step is like I showed you in Excel, I have to get the pass end in, in the right column. I'm going to create a calculated field for this. Okay, and I'm going to call it pass X. Now, when we unioned the two data sources, actually, let me close this for a second. When we unioned the two data sources together, Tableau actually creates a new field. All the way over here on the right, it creates a field called table name. Okay, and despite these um, two tables being identical, Tableau does differentiate between the two. Okay, it does differentiate between the two. And if I was to come up here and edit union, you'll see the table name is 2019-0601. 2019 so it gives it an extra number so it is distinguishing between these two unique values and, and that's what is important in this next calculation here so create a calculated field called pass x and we're going to say if the table name is equal to 2019 okay so remember that first table, I'm going to presume that that's the start of our pass. So if it's that, then I want the location zero. So this is the pass start location zero. Okay. And if I jump back to Excel, I, it's really just this value I want. Okay. So this row here comes from our first table. I want this value. Else. So if it's not called this table, well, there's only one other table it could be. So if it's not that table, then I want a pass end location zero. And then I write the word end. Uh, I'm missing the word then. Okay, so pass end location. So again, just to jump back to Excel to explain this, so on the first row, it's saying, if this is the first table, just keep this value here. If it's the second table, go and grab the pass end location. All right, that's all we're doing. So I'm going to click OK. Let's go down here. I'm going to duplicate it. Edit. And this is going to be my pass Y. And everything stays the same, except this time I want one, which is the Y location. So again, if it's table one, just give me where the pass started. If it's table two, give me where the pass ended. Now, I'm going to build just a simple table just to check this. So if you remember from our Excel file, we were looking at ID four. So the event ID was four. You don't have to do this. This is just for me to be able to check. Uh, I'm going to just bring in a few fields here so we can see we've got our two tables. The passer was Henderson, the recipient is Matip, and then we can go and grab our X and our Y. Okay, so where it's the first table, we get 6141, which is these two values. And if it's a second table, we get 34.9 and 44.7, which is these two, which it grabbed from, from over here. Okay, so that's the little bit of kind of data manipulation, data prep you've got to do to get this right. And then you're pretty much there in terms of being able to build a base. Okay, so I'm going to leave this as table check. 
and I often have these in my uh, workbooks. You want to trust the data, so make sure you check it and validate that it that it it looks right. So now let's go and build our our vase. So we're going to go X on the columns, Y on the rows, and we want the dot for every uh, event ID. And importantly here, because we have duplicate records, it's not enough. This is summing every pass per event ID, but we have two event IDs, so it's actually duplicating values in a, in a lot of cases, okay? So a lot of the time this will be uh, duplicating as I said. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the aggregate measures here. And now it's given me the X and Y for every event ID, both the start and the end. Okay, so you'll, you'll see now in a second, the last step here is we need to draw the lines, but we're nearly there. So let's add in our pitch um, on this, add an image. Stats bomb pitch is 0 to 120 and 0 to 80. And then I'm going to tidy up the axis here. Again, I always do this for pitches. So maybe just give it a little bit of space. So 85. And I fix it so that the whole pitch is always shown. And 80 should actually be at the bottom here. So I'm going to reverse the axis as well. Okay. And then I can right click and don't need to show it. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to fix it and go minus 5 up to 125. And again, right click and untick show header. Okay. Now for the line. So I'm going to turn this from a circle into a line. And what I want is I want the table name. And again, this won't mean anyone to anyone else. They'll never see this. But in order to draw the path correctly, what I want to put is table name onto path. Okay. It looks like I may not even have needed to do that. But And then let's tidy this up. So uh, I want, there's some events in here that aren't just passes, but I want to filter for just passes. That gets rid of those single dots. And then I'm going to add in my filters. So what I'm going to say is team name here. We'll show that filter. We'll show the... I'm actually going to create a calculated field. Because I want to know not just who passed it, but maybe also who they passed it to. So we'll say pass from two. And we'll just player name plus plus recipient name. Uh, let's add that to the filters. Uh, the team up now obviously you could tidy this up in a dashboard uh, but you can see you've got every pass by a player but also to another player. Okay. And then I think let's just throw the outcome pass outcome name onto color. And let's do a couple of other things. So I want to put player name on the tooltip. Actually, I could put the from to to the tooltip. Okay, so I should be able to hover over this and I can see. You know, it's a pass from Vertonghen to Danny Rose. Uh, and actually, I want the outcome as well. Pass outcome name onto tooltip. So null actually is completed in this date as far as I know. So if you wanted to show that, you could come in here and edit the aliases and make null complete this should work. Yeah, so you can see their pass outcome name complete. And now what we can do is we could filter down to a team. And then I could also say filter this list to only relevant values. Could clear this and I could say, do you know, find me Henderson. Yeah, so there's all 
Jordan Henderson and who we passed to and so on. Complete, incomplete, kicked out in that particular game. Uh, something you might want to do is add the direction to this. So what I'll do is I'll put table name onto the size. And I'm going to edit the sizes and the direction should be... Yeah, that's right. Let's just uh, check and we'll just put the table name there. Yeah, so that's the start and that's the end of his passes. Okay, so that's the start and that's the end of all out. All right, so obviously you could then move that into a dashboard and to be able to filter that, but you're, you're quite quickly able to see then a pass map. Looks a bit uh, spaghetti junction-ish when you have everybody but you can certainly filter it down to outcomes or anything like that. Okay, thank you very much.